What's up guys, this is Ultimate Device Vids. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys five jailbreak trees compatible with iOS 10 all the way through to iOS 10.2. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. So first up, we have Noctis. This one's available for $2. Basically, this tweak is a dark mode for certain elements of iOS 10. So you toggle it on just by going into your control center. As you can see, we have this awesome new toggle here, dark mode. It's just beautifully integrated into the system. And if we tap on it, just like that, as you see, it takes effect. So this affects the control center. It also affects the widgets page on iOS 10, which again, absolutely looks amazing. As you can see right there, it just blends very well. And it affects the 3D touch menus and also folders. So if I go ahead and make a folder here, I'll show you guys that it will take an effect. So just like that. So. Unfortunately, it's not a full system-wide dark mode. As you can see right here, it's not going to take effect inside apps, but you, you could use other tweaks, for example, Eclipse to do that. And if you guys you know, get Eclipse and something like this working in conjunction, it's going to go for an awesome look. And again, I just want to say one more time how awesome this toggle is. It just looks like it belongs there. Absolutely great integration into the iOS system. And once again, this is called Noctis. It's available for $2. CCT button actions essentially adds 3D touch shortcuts to the top row of control center. So I can go ahead and 3D touch on things, for example, like Wi-Fi, and as you can see right there, I get a 3D touch option. Same thing with Bluetooth, etc. And if I tap on this, it's actually going to take me directly to the settings page for that specific toggle. So uh, again, for that, in that case, it was Bluetooth, but the same thing could apply to, for example, do not disturb, just like that. Now, um, there's been other tweaks in the past, for example, Quick Center, that allow you to actually choose, you know, Bluetooth devices and Wi-Fi networks right from this view. And that, that doesn't do that, but it's certainly still a nice feature to have. And when for the rotation lock, it's, it'll actually link you to the display settings, which doesn't exactly make too much sense. But, you know, I guess it has to do with displays, you know, the whole rotation of the device. But um, anyways, uh, there's also even one for airplane mode. It'll actually just take you to the main settings page because that's where the toggle resides. But... There's only one actual big issue with this, and it's a pretty big one. Uh, it seems to conflict with activator and flip switch, which are, of course, major building blocks in the city ecosystem. I'm not sure what's going on with that. Hopefully that'll be resolved soon. And I don't know, maybe that's just me. But let me know down below in the comment section if you guys are having the same issue with this conflict you know, with activator and flip switch. Tap Tap Flip has been around for a while, but it's an absolutely awesome tweak. Basically, inside the camera application, it allows you to double tap just anywhere on the screen to flip the camera. So. Again, it's much easier than having to tap the smaller tap target down here. You can just double tap anywhere, and it flips. So, again, very easy to use. Just, you know, helps, you know, maybe if you're using your device in one hand and you don't want to have to, you know, shimmy around to press that button, you can just double tap anywhere, and again, it makes things easier. Uh, there's just one toggle if you guys jump into settings and scroll down to the bottom for tap, tap, flip. That's it. Very simple tweak. Dark Number Badge does exactly what the name suggests. It's a very small tweak, but it actually just makes the numbers inside of your badges darker. So normally they're a white, you know, color, but this basically just turns them black, as you can see right there. So a very simple tweak, but maybe, maybe if you guys have a certain theme applied on your device and you want to have the badges a certain color, this could definitely help, you know, make your device look a certain way. Now, the only thing is, uh, if you actually open up the application that the badge corresponds to, and you, do, you don't actually click on the notification, but you, then you close the app, and the badge is still there, it will turn white. So there's a little option in the settings if you go into dark number badge that just allows you to respring to fix that. But uh, again, either way, very simple tweak, dark number badge. And to finish off, we have two tweaks, but they're essentially doing the same thing for different areas of iOS. So I'm just going to count it as one. We have Better 5 Column Home Screen and Better 5 Icon Dog. These have been around for a while, but as the name suggests, and as you can probably see right now, it just allows you to have five icons going across on your home screen and, of course, in the dock as well. So, again, you could just fit so many more applications on one screen with this tweak. So I'm just going to go ahead and move over these icons to this page, and I'll show you guys just what it looks like with more on one screen. All right, and there you go. As you can see, again, we're just able to fit so much more on the screen. And, again, it just goes for a really nice look, and I think it's definitely a staple in the jailbreak tweak scene so yeah guys that pretty much wraps up this video hope you guys enjoyed these tweaks uh, if you guys like this video make sure to give it a like and subscribe to this channel for many more videos you know covering city of tweaks and also you know other things pertaining to ios devices also make sure to follow the channel on twitter and like it on facebook and with that being said uh, again that wraps it up for this video and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out